Hey everybody, we've got a new delivery today that I'm going to check out in just a little bit. But first, we're going to go for a recovery run after the Ted Corbett 15K. Had a lot of fun with that race. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. But we've got to do our recovery run today, just taking it easy, continuing to build up those miles as we get closer to the training block for the New York City Half Marathon. So let's jump right into it, and then we'll talk about this package in just a little bit. So we don't usually go for a run on Main Street, but it's only 4.30 and it's already dark out. So we're gonna run here today. That way we have some light and I'll show you some of the sights of Beacon. Seven, five miles today on a nice easy recovery run was able to keep my heart rate nice and low here's the run right now on your screen and my splits were 952 941 927 for that 0.75 at the end um, but yeah really nice you know low 140s for the whole run um, it's a little bit hilly so I was glad that you know even with the hills I was able to keep my heart rate down and you know I felt good with my legs and everything so recovering very nicely after the race this past weekend Ted Corbett 15k so with that um, you know the run's done I'm still in my running clothes right now I'll take a quick shower reset and then we'll get take a look at the package that came in the mail today <laughs> So the product that we have today is not exactly running shoes, but it is running related and something that I found to be very important as I was training in the past with a lot of mileage. Um, and I will continue to think is, you know, something that's very important for me today as I build the mileage back up and get, you know, into more long distance running in the future. Um, and it's a recovery slide. Um, what I've been using in the past was a pair of, uh, I guess it's Ufos or Ufus. I actually don't know how to say it. But it's this pair here, uh, and I've had this pair for a little while now. Um, they're a little bit beat up. They've actually been chewed up by the dog. Uh, Charlie got a hold of it just a little bit. 
um, and the foam is actually just kind of breaking away from age and everything where my foot kind of comes in contact I guess with the top of the strap um, for the slide itself. So I just felt it was time for something new uh, and there's been a lot of talk and I've seen a lot of different people starting to use the products from uh, the company I'm about to talk about and that is Decker's X-Lab. So I got a pair of recovery slides essentially that I'm going to be wearing inside and it's the same thing as this as much as they look kind of old and beat up they're really primarily just an indoor shoe that I use walking around the house. Now I do this because if I'm doing a lot of mileage or I'm doing a weekend where I have you know several long runs including something at 20 miles or more, when I get home I don't want to be barefoot and I don't want to be putting all that extra stress on you know my foot. So I want something that's softer underfoot just to keep me you know again cushioned even just when I'm walking around inside the house. So I always use a pair of recovery slides, you know, when I'm in some intense training. So the pair that I chose to go with was the KOZ slide. And I actually was looking for a long time for the mule, um, which is essentially the same thing as this, but it's completely closed in the toe area. Um, I just felt like that was one that I would have preferred to get. But, you know, this seemed also then comfy enough for the winter with enough of this, you know, covering over my foot where I could keep my feet a little bit warm. Uh, and just, you know, again, cushion and protect my feet when I'm inside the house just as well. So the first thing I notice about these is they're much better built than the Ufos. They're just like a rubber or foam sandal. Um, not a lot to it. Uh, you can even see in these Decker's ones, you know, there's like actual imprints to help keep your foot where you want it in the toe box. Whereas on the Ufos, it's really just like it's printed as if there's some kind of shape there, but there's no real contouring or anything like that on the shoe. So these so far just seems like a lot more high quality. You can adjust the straps on the upper um, to fit the you know snugness over your foot to adjust it whatever works for you. Um, there's kind of this harder dark gray layer that sits on top of the lighter gray layer, which is very squishy and soft. And then a white foam layer that's also kind of in between with, in terms of squishy and softness. There's also this raised um, like gray portion that's where your foot sits. So the platform of the shoe is much wider than the little like foam insole where your foot stays on and keeps itself in place. So it's just a very stable recovery slide. On the inside, there's kind of a foam um, arch support pad. There is a little bit of an arch support built in, but then it's also just kind of carpeted, which is um, kind of neat. I don't feel anything, you know, good or bad necessarily about that. Maybe it helps to grip your foot and keep it um, in place while you're walking. Uh, the inside of the, the the top portion is just all kind of like a Sherpa type material. Um, and what's nice is it actually overlaps with the, the strap on the other side. So you can see that, you know, there's not really going to be an issue with any rubbing because one side of it, which is actually the outside layer, comes underneath fully um, with the inside layer that goes over the top. So there's really no seam that you feel when you're walking in it on your feet. And um, yeah, it's just really nicely built, really comfortable so far. And I'm you know glad that I got this particular pair. I think it'll work just fine for what I was looking for. Particular pair on sale for about $90. Um, some of the different shoes on there can go for more money. There's like some outdoor sneakers. I actually would say you could definitely wear these outside if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to, again, try and keep these inside. I just, I always have a pair of like indoor shoes because I don't want the outside uh, ground to be walking around inside my house. So I'm just going to use these indoors, um, at least to the point where they get old and worn out. And then maybe I'll, you know, take the dogs for a walk in the summer in them or something like that. But for now, they're just going to be indoor shoes. Although the outsole is very substantial, a lot of uh, grippy rubber, you know, I can actually, you know, push on it pretty hard against the surface and it wants to move the actual table. Uh, it doesn't want to slide itself, so they're perfectly fine to wear outdoors and, you know, fully um, outsoled slippers. They're not just indoor shoes unless, you know, like me, I want it to be. I really appreciate all the comments and likes on the Ted Corbett 15K video. Uh, it seems like people enjoyed that one, so I will definitely keep sharing my races in the future. Um, and I'm hopeful for, you know, the training block getting started very soon and some other little races that we'll sign up for in the coming weeks. So definitely subscribe uh, if you've gotten this far. There'll be a lot of more running content coming your way. Leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you in the next video.